So will these club goers find a special person for Valentine's Day? Well, that's what Club Avatar hoped for when they held the Shake Shake Singles Party on the weekend before Valentine's Day. So stay tuned to find out if love was in the air. Ah, Valentine's Day, a day for loving couples, married or taking the first steps in their relationship to show their appreciation for one another. But what about the singles out there? For the ones ready to mingle, the night was designed specifically for them in mind. Singles may find it taboo to be a part of a matchmaking event, but put them in a dark room with some music, add alcohol to the mix, and inhibitions are out the door. At least, that's what the nightclub would hope. And Club Avatar goes one step further. To break down barriers of potential awkwardness, the club has adopted the use of smartphone social applications such as Waysin and Line. Okay, so it's a Saturday here at uh, Club Avatar and today is a special event. It'll be uh, three days away from um, Valentine's Day and you guys have sort of like an event that are going to bring two single people together. Maybe you can tell me more about the event. For tonight's event, is called Shake Shake. Yep. So basically, it's about this app that's really famous in China. Okay. Now the locals are starting to use it. It's called Waysing. You just have to download the app and then just like uh, log in. You just have to shake it and then it will detect everyone that's around you that's using this app at the same time. So you can chat with them and then from there you can make friends and um, there will even be pictures of the, the other person. It kind of kills off the cliche dating whereby you have to go forward and like say hi, may I know you know. Yeah, it cancels all this because maybe some guys are more shy, they're better with the net. The good thing about it is that you can choose who, who, who you want to talk to. Interested singles on the night could meet each other through various ways, dropping their contact cards into a box shaped like a phone and receive another person's contact. They could also use the shake function of the social apps to find people around them and receive their contacts as well. The last way was to buy a bottle of alcohol, finish it, place their contacts in the bottle and set it afloat in one of the two gender-specific containers. They can grab another bottle from the other container and get in touch. With the event lasting until 6am, the matchmaking got off to a late start, with contact cards being exchanged at about 1am. You don't want to miss the next part as we check in with two clubbers to see if they found love in the club.